Hi guys, uh, today we're going to clean the engine, the inside of the engine, uh, using decarbonization. Um, how to clean this is using a bit of water uh, that we're going to put in the engine. I will show you how to do that. Why we do it, it's because uh, vehicles, especially old ones like this one, that's about 30 years old, we run, we run, we do kilometers and we clean the engine but we never clean inside inside there's a lot of deposits there's a lot of um, crap as we said that goes inside and that'd be nice to clean from time to time uh, so i will show you how we're gonna do it now and the first step is to start the engine we're now gonna open the the bonnet and i will show you what we're gonna do now This engine is the 200 diesel and we're going to remove the air filter which is here. Uh, I also got a 300 and I will show you uh, what to remove in that case, okay, if you got the 300. The model I've got here is the 300. Uh, as you can see the air filter is on the other side of the engine uh, and you can see the tube is going that way. So I suggest you connect it here. So you remove those two bolts. You disconnect this and you make the entry here uh, or you can do it here as well as, as you wish okay what we need now is a type of spray uh, this used to be uh, to, to clean windows and when it's empty you just fill it up with regular water uh, why we like this because when we spray it just a little bit of water goes through and that that's what we need if you don't have this at hand you can use a plastic bottle uh, on a plastic bottle, if you make a few holes here, uh, just imagine it's a plastic bottle, of course. Uh, when you press it, just a little bit of water will come out. Um, but if you make the holes a bit bigger, it could be a problem. So the best is to use something like that. Usually we all have this at home. Uh, so let's use that. Fill it up with just normal water, eh? nothing else inside. Well, now we need to remove the air filter. Now that we have removed the air filter, it will be nice to accelerate a bit the car uh, so that it's not that idle. So either you put a, a weight on the accelerator, so you accelerate a little bit, or if not you accelerate by hand, here. So you will need to use a, a little piece of cable or something uh, in order that it accelerate a little bit, okay, that is more suction by the air filter. As you can see I've placed a, a cable here that way I can adjust it at the end and you can accelerate the car the way you want. Uh, that type of acceleration is fine it's not too much it's perfect. Okay now we need to spray inside the water uh, so we're just gonna spray in the four cylinders it's possible that you will hear a change in the engine, the sound, it's possible. Uh, so you spray, we stop, we spray, we stop. If you need a bit more power, you just pull the cable. Okay. As you can see, I've used half the bottle, more or less. I will continue like that until the bottle is finished. Remember that if your car doesn't have enough um, revolution, you can just pull the cable at ease, you know, at, at request, in order for it to suck a bit more of the water. Normally, if the, the engine got a good revolution, the water won't fall off because it, it gets sucked here. So if you do it well, normally it's fine. 
Well, as you can see, I finished the bottle and uh, I've lost very, very little water. I will try to show you. It's just a little bit wet here, but uh, really, uh, out of 750 milli uh, milli uh, millimeters, uh, I've lost very, very little uh, of water. So I suggest that now you leave the car running a little bit for another 10 minutes. After that, you put everything back and you go for a drive. Well, as you can see, I've placed everything back together. Just make sure that uh, this is uh, well placed. Huh? Uh, you've got them on every side, at the back as well, under. Uh, if it's not well placed, some dirt can go inside. And if dirt go inside, that goes in the engine and you will damage your engine. Obviously, you don't want that. So make sure it's well fixed. If you got pipes like this one, uh, they get fitted in that little clip there. Make sure it's fitted as well so it doesn't move. Because when, when that moves, uh, it, it starts rubbing on it and it gets damaged. So you don't want that. Normally, uh, personally, I do that every two months, more or less, on, on my engine. There's no guide as such as to when to do it. Uh, to, uh, everything depends uh, how much you use your car, if you do a lot of uh, kilometers or not, uh, if you use it once a month, well, this in, in that case maybe once a year. Um, it, it all depends, okay? Just you know best on, on this. Um, but I use it every day. Uh, this, this is a car I use every day, the others I use it less. But uh, so this one. I do quite a few kilometers, uh, so I, I, I do it uh, once every two months. Okay, uh, another thing, obviously that engine, once you remove this, uh, you got access at the four cylinders. So obviously you need to spray in each and every one of them. Uh, on the other engine, on the 300, as you can see, there's a, there's a pipe. Obviously if you spray inside, that goes directly into the four. Uh, so that's the difference you may have from one engine to another. But the principle is the same. Uh, you, what you should notice after doing that a few times, uh, you will notice that the engine will run smoother, uh, maybe a bit more power, uh, so everything will be uh, just better. Um, if you look a bit on the internet as well, you will see that uh, this actually does work. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you can press the like button, that'll be fantastic. And uh, if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, you will see more video as they come along. Uh, if you got any ideas or video and I can make it, uh, drop me a line and if I know it, I will make it. I try to make them as sensible and easy to understand as possible. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed it and see you for the next one. Ciao!